What is that smell? <laughs> Sticky balls. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, the global men's lifestyle brand that is revolutionizing the landscape of men's grooming. Step into 2024 of confidence thanks to Manscaped, where resolutions are met and hairs are neatly kept. Introducing the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped, the ultimate all-inclusive kit that has everything you need to feel clean and confident. The package includes a bunch of new products, but let's start off with the brand new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. With the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, they've taken grooming precision to a whole new level with the next-gen dual skin safe blade heads. Building on the excellent from previous models, these updated blades mean business. First, the updated trimmer blade features longer, wider, and rounded teeth that cut through hair with ease. But here comes the real showstopper, the foil blade. Crafted to transcend the boundaries of your typical trim achieved from the trimmer blade, this foil blade is designed to leave you with a finish that's incredibly sleek and utterly bare. And it's also like two different trimmers, but you're only paying for one. Looking at, to level up your grooming game, say goodbye to bothersome nose hair with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra Kit, which comes complete with the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. It comes with the Crop Preserver and Crop Suver. It doesn't stop there. When you purchase the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra, you receive two free gifts. First off, you got the Boxer 2.0. Manscaped also threw in a brand new Shed 2.0. It's like your grooming command center, a place to keep all your grooming gear organized and ready to roll. Resolutions may come and go, but a well-groomed you is here to stay. Head over to manscaped.com and get your hands on the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. When you use my promo code Garfield, you'll get 20% off plus free shipping internationally and two free gifts when you use code Garfield at manscaped.com. Trust me, fellas, your balls will thank you. So you guys love this series. If you guys have a strat or trick that you want to show me, be sure to join my Discord. Link is down in the description. Starting out, we have this insane clubhouse tactic, which you can do whether you're Maestro or anybody with a bulletproof cam. Obviously, the standard spawn peak for gate, you know, you can, so you can always see from... Yep. Where you are. Norm normally you can only sort of see like head height, maybe a little bit of like tiny bit of upper chest. Well, there's a vault prompt. If you sort of line up with the edge of this piece of paper and you look towards, I want to say like third weight, you get a vault prompt. <laughs> and so f from here, if you, if you don't fall, you can back up. And in the spawn peak, it allows you to see sort of like down to waist height. Or the gate all the way towards um Oh you mean this gate? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if when you when you yeah, so if you just sort of peek out, yeah, I I can see like your upper leg. Oh, okay. I was I was so over at the other gate, like what? Yeah. So as opposed to just seeing, you know, a little bit of chest and head, you can see almost the entire body. Oh yeah, so you have the perspective on the body before you yeah, see it. Yeah. Right. Okay, that's solid. It's, it's it's also a little bit off because obviously the standard is when you're when you're almost against the window, they tend to aim for a little bit around the lower side. Yeah. With, with you being up here, they have to aim much higher. Yeah, nobody's gonna expect that. As well, with this is actually a setup for one of the maestro cams I use. By oh. destroying the Oh, wait till you come in. So by destroying the speaker that's up here. I want to say it's like that brick there. Place your micro cam on the far right. So then, say if someone wants to come in through hot tub, the standard is to have obviously one reinforced bathroom, one open. Yeah. No. Yep. So, sort of like that. With this bit being reinforced, let me see where I can aim it to. Anything on that wall there? Mm. Any acers, any habanas, you can get rid of them. Oh, that's good. That's where where would you uh, place the other two micro cams if you're doing this setup? So, another one would be. It's about been a lot easier since he's got three now. So destroy the fan, destroy the monitor, and on top of this little sort of dolly, it raises you up, so you can sort of sprint. <laughs> oh, mess that up. Destroy these, make it a bit easier. You can sort of sprint over. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. That looks so funny. It, it looks really goofy looking, yeah. And then you, you can place it sort of just up above in between there. Which gives you a sort of good angle, a good sight line on pretty much most of this room. You know, you'll have people playing like pixeling on here, looking down towards main stairs. You'll have your rotate. And then you might have a few people trying to hold, get angles on it there. And essentially anywhere in this room that they are, you can see. Yeah. 
the only place you can't see is tucked in here, which if you're not really playing with like if you've got it reinforced off, you're not playing it with a mirror or you know, rotate, you didn't gotta worry about it as much. Yeah, see, that's also good because nobody can, like, like it, they, they'll have to know how to get up there and, like, yeah. no attacker is going to be like, okay, I'm going to go punch it, you know? Yeah, that's, that's that's what I mean. Especially now that Ash, who, you know, her, her projectile's been changed as well. Wait, what? It, it makes... So, Ash and Kali, they no longer destroy Mashro cams. They break the glass, but they don't destroy them no more. They've been changed from a uh, explosive projectile to a drilling type. Oh, I did not know that, actually. Wow. Yeah. So that opens up this opens up the possibility of of like maybe a drilling type operate in the future, but it also means now that you know Mashro has less counters, which is always nice. Oh Jesus! Um, then the third one, the third one's always sort of up to personal preference. Oh, one thing I will do with the one that I placed up in gym. Oh yeah, you also have a con condor cam basically. Yeah, yeah, you can pretty much see. I'll just use my explosive for that. <laughs> you can see all the way into Condor. And if you want to play a little bit of cash. Yeah, the walking on cash too. Yeah, that's really yeah, good. You, you can see all of that. So you can hold down gym, a little bit of hot tub, bathroom wall, all the way through here. Um, the third one, this is it's probably a bit of overextension. And I don't think this is really like a um, uncommon maestro. But... It allows you to see, obviously, all of cash, and if you... I'm just gonna make... Yep. This is just a bit over-exaggerated. Bit um, over-exaggerated. Over yeah. No, that's it. That's the term. But with this, anyone that's, like, halfway up the stairs, you can see on Maestro Cam again. Obviously, if you make the right lines of sight through the walls, and, you know, you don't have to worry about opening it up as much, but, yeah, so I can see you coming up through there. Yeah, and even then, like, getting rid of that one is a pain in the ass, and then you have the two yeah. others to worry about, so, yeah, like, that yeah. that would be fantastic. Of course, many people know about it already. From gym window, you can peek through that towards garage. Um, oh, shit. The garage entrance. I wouldn't recommend this one if you're playing CCTV cash, um, <laughs> purely because you're giving the um, opponents a more easy entry. But from you can sort of peek it normally, so you can see the in, the whole door, or you can obviously, for the more of an off angle, you can get the vault prompt. Can you can you see my feet right now? Like whenever you get up there. Yeah. So where I am now, I can see your lower body, or if I drop down, I can pretty much see your head. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. Damn. Yeah. That that's yeah. tough. Now this next tip might be a little bit simple, but it is crazy useful. I feel like a lot of people underuse Cali quite a bit. Uh, gonna... CC? Yeah, CC. Okay, beautiful. Do you just want me to reinforce flat? Uh, yeah, the two walls up there in the CC room, yeah. Okay, but... Most of the time, after on Clubhouse is usually banned. Yep. And pe people sometimes play Cali. For, for Clubhouse, and he can put his Kate spots up where Callie can't get them behind the hard walls. Yeah, like the red wall and then the garage or on the monitors? Uh, yeah, behind the monitors. Okay. Um, so, and yeah, let me just open it up real quick. So usually when someone puts their Kate claw behind here, which, yeah, you put it right behind there. So Callie, or I guess really anyone with a long scope, can go all the way back down here. Because I, I run my run with a duo who's a hard breacher. Yep. And you can just... I think you can, I'm pretty sure you can just shoot a lance at it, if I remember. Yep. You can just shoot a lance right there, and it should just... Oh. It. Wow. I, you know, that's actually so simple. I just never thought about that. And another spot that I was going to show is... Gives you construction control. All the way over here. Which is good for Cali. Uh, you can repel right here. Onto this wall. And you can see all the way into Khan from right there. Uh -huh. So you can watch all the way into offices as well. If anyone, if they're going gym. Oh, I can and barely see you. Partial control into uh, Master as well. Next, we have a very strong angle on Skyscraper that's heavily underused. A lot of you guys might not even know about this angle. Let me know down in the comments if you did know about this angle. But it should cover, it does cover 
I, I don't think people know that you can repel. The oh, yo, yo, yo. I, I use that like every game on Skyscraper, bro, with Lion. And I just wall bang both walls. And like, I just get so many frags. I love that spot. Like I, said, I like it because Callie just breaks the wall like immediately. Yeah. And her gun just can penetrate. I think, I, I don't know if you can see all the way over to this wall. I think you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you can. A... All of this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In the Tidor, door, that's, yeah. That's that's why that's why I like playing with Callie because she just breaks it completely. So, because some people, I I never I never like see people repel on this wall. Oh yeah, no, I, I have never uh, either. Like I I figured that out on my own that you can repel up there. It's hilarious. Because like I said, she can see all the way into because she just penetrates the penetrates the walls and you can just double shoot it. Yeah, that's, you. That's why I like you just stay on repel. And then she can delay off diffuser and stuff if they diffuse uh -huh. right there. And here's a very strong cave cloth for the map chalet. I'm okay. gonna shoot through here. So if you put if you put your cave claw down right here, I am. Last time I checked when I was against a Cali player, Cali cannot break that. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't break it. The radius is too tiny. Yeah. It. That is a spot that Callie cannot get due to her, you know, Lord Blanche just not able to reach. I don't think you can pick it up either. I'm not sure. Nope, I am very short. That was one of the spots I want to show, and I did have a spot for Tubby, which was in basement, but like I said, they they nerfed him to the nerfed him for electricity no longer to work. But it can still get bandits on the wall if they're bandit tricking. So down here on basement. Tubby, when he freezes the wall, Callie can shoot her lance also through the drone hole mm -hmm. back here and bypass the Tubby as well and break the bandits. Mm, okay, I, I actually wall. didn't know that because I don't use I don't use Callie. Yeah, that's that, like I said, she's just not used like to the fullest. I feel like. Yeah, sometimes. people. Yeah, people are very like they overlook her. They think about Mav. They think about Thatcher, secondary EMPs, but yeah. Callie can just do a lot. I, she's still, I feel like, too weak. Her sniper, like, sometimes just doesn't do any damage. Like, I think if I shoot you, like, right here in the... <laughs> How much damage does that do? Uh, I'm at 44 out of 125, so... Yeah. You did about, like, what, 70 you damage? I yeah. shot you in your waist. Yeah, that should definitely... You know, it's a bull action. I understand I'm with three armor, but... You know, that should still, definitely lead me to one it, or something. If it blows through a wall like that... I don't know. Rook is stupid as well with Kali, because Kali no longer one shots three armors, and she no longer guarantees kills on three speeds with Rook. Next is a clear cut example of why Mira is such a strong operator, but why you shouldn't just go off basic sight setups. Oh god, dude, I haven't played PC in a minute. Oh, G3, what the hell? A recoil? Yeah, it's not that bad, but like, wow, that's different. Yeah, it just feels weird, like, side to side. Oh, yeah, it just starts kicking. Oh. Alright. Uh, you ready? Yeah. What you cooking so, up? <clears throat> so, as we m most of us know, right, it depends on your operator lineup. But usually, you know, you reinforce this, put the mirror on the other side. But what I would like to introduce to you, if they take west over and you know it, you save a mirror in your pocket, and you come in the elbow, and you open up the rotate as usual. I like to make the running rotates just because you have more flexibility and you don't have to crouch or like try to, you know, get yourself in a way where you're going to get killed. So you can just like, you know, run through it. You can also nitro. But point being, reinforce the side. Right. And then you save your mirror. You know, you usually reinforce this wall. And then if they take west over, so it would be like a showers and, you know, a front take and a freezer take, you put a mirror here, right? And if you have elbow control, you know, you still have your utility and no one's out there putting pressure, you can always just play in here and you can nitro over the top, right? Oh. You can prone here, throw a nitro over and come look at this nitro. Oh. Right on the hatch. So, uh. for late, but if you also line it up, you could throw it, hold up, go back here, right? You just throw it a little bit over and try to aim like more at the doorway, like this. Yep. And that goes for default plant. Anyone that's here is definitely gonna die. Oh, that's good. I like that. Innovating. Yeah. And then uh, what you call it? A lot of people also like 
they do like this hole right and then they reinforce th this it's just like a an alternate version right but like i hate these like these rotates here right because you always have to jump it and it feels like you can't take like a decent gunfight right so like say you're putting like you know you have head holes over here and freezer all right whatever and then you have a shield here and you're with a good team right if you have this here and you try to play the mirror and you want to take a one you like either have to like try to swing wide and expose yourself more or you have to vault it and then take the fight right but what i like to do i always like to do this is make this runnable right so even if they get front control right like if they get control of the front it is what it is i guess but if you can test here right and you know no one's pushing front you always just go in here and like quick peek instead right instead of having to jump over expose yourself more you just do a little quick peek and we have a fantastic solo hold for the map border all right so this is my strat right whenever we are defending up there i come into this room i don't impact like this no nope. now i play right here because this barricade is shut but you can see underneath the barricade so you can see whenever anyone's walking outside and they can't really see you as well like they can see you but it's like no one's really expecting it and you're gonna have the advantage on them already so like if you just walk up to the barricade like i can just see right through so whenever anybody goes up to the wall or goes up to the area i can just see like anyone over there right and then this is this is not the only part of the strat there's more okay don't worry there's more oh there's more so come that come back down here Are you gonna s uh, don't don't tell me you're about to impact trick the wall. No, 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 no. So I play right here, and that's the window right there. So the way I lock this down is I'm either looking through the hole made here, I'm either looking through here, or I save an impact, and whenever anybody goes in their drone, I'm simply just impacting this, and I'm running out over here, and like obviously, you know, shooting anybody that's out on the rappel because I can see them on their camera. So it's basically a free kill. I completely am able to lock this down. Or if they just don't do this, I'm obviously playing Solus and this entire floor is destructible. So I have an impact that I can just impact through the floor and I lock this entire area down considering it's like a high traffic area up there whenever you're like defending the top floor. Damn bro, I'm not gonna lie. Like you should do some like TikToks or something. Yeah, I know. I honestly gotta do. Like, yeah, I think you would like go crazy. <laughs> And we have another mirror strat for the map chalet. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are with this type of mirror strat. How, how, how the setup would work is you'd need all three of these walls right here reinforced. Yep. This isn't part of the mirror strat. I mean, this just helps you stay alive. The actual mirror strat gets into right here. So You'll reinforce this wall and this wall. You know, I had somebody show me earlier, like, a bank strat that, that was kind of like this on, like, top square. Reminds me a lot yeah. of that. It'd make a... It's it's a strange thing, but you make a jump rotate. Yep. And then you'll make a jump rotate here. And the advantage of where these mirrors will go, like, it'll watch both these rooms. But the other thing is, if you look right here, I opened up this little hole right here, you can see all the way to that door. Yeah, K9, yeah. Uh-oh. Let me, uh, place some of these. And if you have, like, a castle and a mute, it makes this so much better. You know, place a mute jammer there, castle this door. But you can see, if you lean left, you can see there. If you lean, you can see both windows. You can see in piano. And if anyone's, like, in a spot that you can't get, you can just jump out and get them. So how often do you I, use this? Uh, every time I play Shallot, I use this every time. Honestly, I've never Back. seen this done. Yeah, if you wanna hop in there, I'll show you what you can see. So like, if I'm over in here, you can't really see me. But like, right about here, you should start being able to see me. Yep. Oh, and I can and, uh, I can see the window, right? Yeah. By right here at the window, you can see me. By start punching open this window right here. See me. And then if I walk through here you know yeah i can i can clap the mass it's over for library stairs you'll jump up on this right here you'll jump on that plant up there and then you jump on that wood right there and then drive all the way down to the end i've, no, I've never seen anyone nade through the floor honestly here yeah no i'm just thinking about what angle you can maybe hold like if you yeah because you you got double here it's very common people walk on west main yeah Yeah, like you can, like if nobody's pushing piano early in the round, you just watch one of these holes. Hold up. 
Nah, you can't get trophy. Okay. Uh, you can get I one mean, trophy you can get door. Tr yeah, you, you, can get right here. you can get dining door. Somebody walks in West Main. West Main, more or less. Oh wait, wait, wait! I just realized something. I think that is. That's not. Yeah, that's fridge, right? Or is this in uh, garage? No, yeah, check. this is fridge. Is it? I believe. Wait, no. It's. Oh I think it's God, a little bit up here. Did we just find like a four way, like a yeah, I'm hold telling angle you. to hold? Yeah, you can you can definitely yeah, just no, hold that's, somebody that's rushing. Right here. Yeah. That's, that's the big garage. Where's the door? Like the like to, into fridge? Uh in the fridge is right here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh shotgun. Yeah, that's that's right here. Yeah, you can make like a hole and just like hold their like rush because that's very common. Oh, this is still a thing? Wait, hold up. Where's the vault prompt? Uh, right here. You have to look at it from right here. Oh, okay. And then you just run. Oh, shit. Oh. Now, this next angle on cafe is pretty common, but a lot of people don't know about it. So you got to keep in mind all the newer players that got into Siege. So we get it, guys. You ha you know all the knowledge about Siege, but this is for them. All right. All right. I I'm good now. So what do you do? Uh, uh, Silas, are you good now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so essentially, that little peak, if you jump, do you see, like, you can vault up on that? Yeah, yeah, right there. So nine times out of ten, people will, like, blow this hatch and they'll drone. Yep. And you can kind of see the thing. Obviously, on now I've ash charged it, it's, like, quite obvious. But obviously, you just shoot out just the top bit. And then sometimes you go a Zami and, like, a Zami, the window to your right, and the piano behind you so you get shot. But so many people drone um, the other hatch from the balcony, and then they'll come over here to, like, yeah, peek it. From the hatch. And it's just a, it's just a perfect peak. You can kind of like see it strap not straight. Hold up, I don't know what my controller. Uh, I had to hop on a controller. Uh, fair play. Okay. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So many people will like they'll drone this hatch over here and they'll kind of like stand up like right here. Can you see my head? Yep. Yeah, so honestly, it's the most free kills and right now I can see you but when I'm when I'm like directly unpatched like looking down Like you can I can I can't see you at all and you should be able to see my feet So I don't really get many kills people drop in here I just get more like kills when people are trying to look down and like trying to see the door and last but not least We have a dual queue strat for mirror and Malusi Yeah, you wanted to Yeah, reinforce that wall twice And as you will obviously have the draw mirrors on them Secure the wall. and then river wherever you want to go. Um, and then you put the Malusi would put their thing there, and then as they'd come over, they obviously wouldn't see it. And what I, think that, what I found out is they'd, be, they'd see the mirror. It's, you, it's better if it's on that wall, but they see the mirror, from like here, and then they can run over, but then they'll get slowed there, and then whoever is in security, they can always just... Wait, you put the mirror on the... on, on this side? My bad, I... I, I put it on this, I put it on this side. Okay, are you just doing it... Are you, yeah, you're just doing it for the bait factor? Yeah. Oh, okay, so, gotcha. So, because, like, it doesn't really matter about that, because mainly the person who's in security, it's the main person who's going to be getting kills and all that. So like, be so it'd be better with castle as well, because you can castle this off and all that from the window, and then reinforce them away. And then whoever, if the Malusi or whoever is in here, they hear it going and they shoot it off. Okay, very solid, pretty, very simple, but yeah, very effective. You have been spotted by hostile. They kind of just back. forget about it. The last time I played it, got that barely played the game. I'm never on it. They can just run for it and try and get through. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment. And if you have a strat or a specific trick that you want to show me, be sure to join my Discord and let me know down in the comments what your favorite strat was from today's video.